Hi, I'm Erin St. Blaine for Adafruit, and for today's project, we're going to tear down and try and improve this amazing electric fireplace. It comes with an infrared remote control, and uh, it does a lot of cool stuff. If I press this button here, it will change flame color. I can do blue, green, or red, uh, or combinations of the, of the three. There's also an LED strip down here at the bottom, and then one right here at the top. And these are RGB LED strips I can change and cycle through the different colors on either one of the strips, uh, and it makes ambient light that surrounds the flames. Um, I would love to maybe try to make these addressable. Um, it also has a heater in it, which is really cool. I'm gonna try and keep that exactly the same and try not to break it. We're also gonna see if we can get rid of this obnoxious beep. No bueno. So here we have it with the back off, and this is pretty ingenious. It looks like there's a really cool little metal rod here that spins when it's turned on, and there is an LED strip underneath with looks like red, green, and blue, and maybe white LEDs. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and see what that looks like. Ooh, it's bright. So this rod spins and makes a reflection onto the glass right here, which is what gives us that beautiful mirror effect. I removed the motherboard and found the spot where it was making the beep. And on the other side was a piezo speaker, so I unsoldered it and problem solved. The beep is gone. Next I set up the LED NeoPixel strip. There's a full tutorial on the Adafruit learning system, so check that for wiring diagrams and soldering guide. I installed the LED strip from the front of the fireplace, just right on top of the existing strip. Uh, just unplugged the strip from the motherboard on the inside and everything was working. Finally, I used the WLED software to hook up the existing remote control to the new LED strip. Now I can control the fireplace and the new LED strip from the same remote. I made modes that look like embers and rainbows. It's really easy to make interesting modes with WLED. Check out the full write-up on the Adafruit Playground for details about how I made this work and tips about what not to do. And as always, remember to hit that subscribe button for more fun Adafruit projects.